Hey, everyone. We're live at the Pace Studio right now in New York with His Golden Messenger. Dude, thank you for coming, man. Welcome back here. Glad to be here. Yeah. Welcome back to these tapes anyway. New room uh, since the last time we saw you, but uh, the but tapes same old are still tapes. interesting. Yeah. The tapes are still intriguing. Yeah. Yeah. The Dire Straits will do it. The uh, the Hank Jr. will do it. The George Jones will do it. All of them. I mean, they'll we, all we, do it in different ways. That's right. Um, so thank you for being here and adding to the uh, the history of all these things, because your performance becomes uh, will live side by side with these with these as soon as it wraps. Man, will I get a tape box? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but do you want the Elvis Costello? <laughs> oh, I want my own tape box. Uh, okay. They're actually that they're... says His Gold Messenger. So when some some kid comes in here doing this in 10 years, they'll be like. How drunk was he when he was doing that? <laughs> well, I kid you not, there is one of those in the other room, and I will show it to you as oh, soon as we're okay. There actually okay. is one. Um, and well, when they ask that, please say he was very drunk. <laughs> I will not let you down in that regard. Thank you. Um, so we're going to hear, there's a lot of music today, man. Thank you for coming here. And sure. congratulations to you because Terms of Surrender, the album uh, just recently came out on Merge Records. It's Thank out you. in the world and we're going to hear four songs from it. Can you yeah. tell us what you're going to do first today? Yeah, I'm going to start with um, a tune that I wrote for my daughter when she turned five years old called Happy Birthday Baby. Um, yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, baby Gonna love your brother now It's a strange gift, maybe Girl, you know me better Than I know myself Well, I'm trying to repay All these miles that I'm on when I'm far away, baby Know that I love you And sing this little song One was a lonely number two You were born in thunder three It was lightning quick You lit up the house like a matchstick Four, child, you're a wonder Held me tight when the world went under fire Sweet, I own it. Can I tell you I love you? Well, happy birthday, baby. Well, I guess we better face it I'm a lonely swimmer A long, long way from shore Can I tell that story? Like there's only one to tell When you think of me Think of me better Then I think of myself One was a lonely number two You were born in thunder three It was lightning quick You lit up the house like a matchstick Four, child, you're a wonder Held me tight when the world went under fire Sweet, I own it Can I tell you I love you? Thank you, man. It sounds great. Um, I have, I would suspect this is true for may, almost every performer, but I think maybe, maybe more true in your case. I've heard you say on more than one occasion that it's, it's very dependent. The music that you make, the music that you write, the music you record and perform is very dependent on the, the state you're in, the mind frame you're in at the time 
Um, and the, the question for you is what are you, what are you doing on a regular basis in order to stay in that frame of mind that is receptive to <laughs> new music being created or receptive to, uh, to playing the music that you've already written to audiences or to live streams in this case, uh, what are you, what are you doing to stay, uh, to stay healthy, <laughs> to stay healthy, um, to stay mentally healthy. Yeah. Um, you know, I surround myself with people that, um, that I love, that I don't feel like are trying to, um, that, that, that understand what it is I'm trying to do with this music. Um, that, you know, that goes for people that I play with and people that I work with too. I, I'm proud to say that everybody that is a part of my, um, musical family, um, you know, gets, gets the vibe, gets the vibe of what I'm trying to do. I spend a lot of time with my family, you know, um, uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I feel lucky to be doing this and, um, in some weird way, this is kind of like my second crack at it. I've, I've been playing music my entire life and, um, you know, I played in another band that made a whole bunch of records and, um, I won't say that my priorities then were totally out of whack, but you know, I have just zeroed in on on the music, on 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 making records that feel vulnerable, that feel like they have the potential to to touch somebody else because there's something in the music that um that is is emotionally real. Yeah. So Nice. Well, I would like to like to think that I get the vibe that you're going for, and I, in fact, well, I, will I mean, go I beyond think that and say do. that I, I do, don't think I, I would do. be here if you didn't. Yeah, if you didn't, right? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. That's absolutely the case, man. <laughs> we are fans of, of what you're up to, so Thank we you. we very much appreciate you coming here, and I think that the environment fits fits the vibe pretty well, yeah. also. So we're stoked that you're here and doing yeah. this, and we will uh, we'll be here doing this. So whenever it makes sense for you, come back. Man, anytime, <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the other. Mm-hmm. Thing is, I, I am a music fan. I, I I started out as a fan of music. I am an omnivorous fan of music. Um, so you know, I look around at a place like this with all these reels of tape, and I think, like, man, I'd love to hear some of that stuff. Um, you know, I'm always collecting music. I'm trying to hear new things. Um, you know, so. I think that's also important as as someone that wants to keep making my own music for as long as I can is to be ingesting music that um, is inspiring to me. Yeah. Well, dude, I feel so lucky to be, this is my job. This is what we're yeah. doing all the time. So yeah. this room is a huge source of new music yeah. discovery for me and also enjoyment of new projects of artists who I'm already familiar with. Yeah. So dude, it's great. Well, thanks. Yeah, man. So there's a lot more music today. You're going to do, um, yeah, I think three... I'm going to do the, I'm going to try and keep the tempos a little varied so we don't end up with a couple sad, sad sack songs at the very end. So I'll put one of those right now. Right. <laughs> Um, I'm going to play the title track to this uh, new record called Terms of Surrender, which is um, its actually, I was just thinking of this this morning, it's something that I wrote with my dear friend Josh Kaufman, who... Um, He's been in here a bunch of times. I'm sure he has, yeah. yeah. Incredible guitar player. I think this is maybe the only co-write that has ever ended up on any Hiss Gold Messenger record ever. Um, but he came down to my house... A year or two ago, like when I was writing the songs that became Terms of Surrender, and I said, Josh, I've been thinking that I want to write a song called Terms of Surrender. And he said, okay, let's do it. And then 15 minutes later, it was done. And then we went out for lunch. So it's always nice when songs show up that way, because that certainly is not the, the norm for me. These are my terms The terms of surrender It's one thing to bend it My love But another to break it These are my terms 
And I was that dumb in The years of the summer Play in the numbers While I Fooling with thunder And I'm gonna take it On the chin and save it It's one thing to bend it, model on, but another to break I'm gonna give it But don't make me say it It's one thing to bend it My love But another to break it I saw the fire A ten thousand burning Now there's water behind me My love No boat for the turning So we were talking a little bit about about Josh Kaufman, uh, who you've worked with a, n- a number of times in the past. Can you talk a little more about um, about who you worked with on this record? Uh, some of the the regular collaborators, and also there were a handful of uh, of new relationships. It sounds like on this one. Can we talk about? Uh, and I was. Uh, whatever, I will do this digression. I don't care. I was lucky enough to see you at, at Newport um, at that church show after uh, oh, yeah. at one of those after shows with you yeah. and Phil and Anais Mitchell, and it yeah. was the coolest thing of the entire weekend. Wasn't and, that uh, beautiful? Yeah, man, it was outstanding. So watching yeah. you and Phil Cook do stuff together, I mean, everything about that environment yeah. was wonderful. Jay Sweet, but, listen uh, to this. Jay yeah. Sweet's the director oh, of, uh, of Newport. Jay, he used to listen be an to editor this. at large at Paste Magazine, actually, Jay Sweet did. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Jay, give me that church this uh, summer. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Who worked on this record? Well, um, I produced this record with a guy named Brad Cook. That's Phil's brother. Um, let's see here. It was, it was a, lot of, a lot of my regular people that are in my, in my orbit. So um, me, Phil, Phil Cook. Josh Kaufman, uh, Matt McCon playing drums, who plays plays with Bon Iver, um, and is a is a dear friend. Uh, let's see, who else was was uh, who else was around? Um, we made it at Aaron Desner's studio. Aaron Desner is is in the National, of course. Yeah. Um. He was kind enough to lend us his studio and his musical talents for about a week. So he Aaron plays um, a lot of the piano and guitar on on terms of surrender. 
Um, but he wasn't producing it. He was just kind of acting as a band member. He would roll in and in a pair of <laughs> shorts and a t-shirt every day and just kind of quietly set up in his corner and, and would just go. He, he was very sympathetic to what we were doing musically. Um, and then, uh, let's see here. We had Jenny Lewis sing a whole bunch of, of harmonies, um, in Nashville, we recorded uh, at this guy named Roger Mutino's studio. Roger, um, I know Roger's work because he recorded all of my favorite Yola Tango records, but I, I think that he has done, um, has had some other bigger successes maybe I, that I'm not, that I don't know about. I just, all I wanted to talk about with him was those Yola Tango records. <laughs> he was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember those records. Um, and then we worked at Sound City in L.A. for a little while, too. Um, so Tony Berg, who owns Sound City with Blake Mills, was kind enough to let us let us work there for a few days. Nice. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody right now. That would be really, really terrible. Um, uh, yeah, but... It was a really fun record to make. Yeah, we, I mean, we had it seems a ball. like it. I'm sure whoever that person is there. I mean, there must be dozens and dozens of names that you're not mentioning right now. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, there, there, like this. there, there are there are a lot. Like Alex Alexander Sasermonig, who is a member of Mountain Man and does her own thing. She sings she sings some on it, and she's she's sung on every Hiss record since Lightness of Dancers. Um, they were there at that church too, man. That was amazing. yeah. They were yeah. at the church too. Yeah, and that was a that was a really cool night. Now that you remind me of it, because we had Jonathan Wilson there, we had Gregory Allen Isakov there. Right, right. Uh, we had um, Dawes was there. Da like the entire Dawes band was there backing up Jonathan. Um, Aaron Ray was there, who's another dear friend of mine and, yeah. and a favorite. Yeah, it was a great night. Yeah, I'm lucky to have a cool, cool musical community around me. I promise I'm not just going to turn every, every the rest of the interview uh, segments into referencing the one night of the the thing that I went to that you were at. But Please I do, know, it was a dude. It was a special. It's what we night. have. It it's was. what we have in common, Brad. That's right. <laughs> we um, we there's a ton more music happening right now. You're gonna do uh, two more off of Terms yeah. of Surrender. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us what's coming up third? Yeah, I'm gonna play. I need a teacher. Um, so when I wrote this song, it was not about public education as it seems to have become um, over the past few months. When I wrote this song, I, I feel like I was um, trying to, uh, I, was, I was fantasizing about um, sort of navigating my way through, through um, the hardest parts of my own life with some kind of guide. You know, I, w I was wishing that I had some kind of some kind of guidance, which doesn't exist, of course. Um, the, there are some rules to live by, but I don't think there's a map. Um, but then, as we were thinking about the the video for this um, for this song, there happened to be a public educator and staff strike in North Carolina, which is where I'm from. They were protesting, um, you know, for for um, better better conditions all around for themselves and their students. Um, so people, people that have not seen that video should go watch it. It's beautiful. It's, it's so beautiful. And, um, but I come from a, a house where both of my teach, my, my parents were public school teachers. My wife is a public school teacher. Um, so I, I had been thinking a lot about, um, conditions in public schools and just like the things that my parents and wife have experienced, the disrespect that they've experienced in that job, which is so, so hard. It's really hard work. So we ended up um, partnering with this organization in Durham, North Carolina called the Bull City Schools Foundation and a dollar from every ticket sold on all of this touring that we've done in the past couple months has is going to that organization. Nice. So it's an organization that basically, um, you know, works to support public education in Durham so that at the very beginning of the school year, my wife and all of her colleagues are not going out and spending their own money to buy school supplies, which is how it works now. 
and it's insane. Um, yeah, that's my long-winded. Tell me, tell me one more time the name of that organization. The I'll organization find, is uh, called the Bull City Schools Foundation. Bull City Schools Foundation. Yeah. I'll find. I'll drop a link into the comments section yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, the um, yeah, Durham is known as the Bull City. So, um, yeah, this is I need a teacher. Like me, daddy, I'm still your kid. Uh, the ways that you roll so very different. You in the bulk of an American moment. Like me, daddy, happiness ain't free. I see where you're at. I know you can see me. You in the bulk of an American moment. Yes, tell the truth, dear. Don't be jaded. That's no way to play it. Say it, feel it, yeah, look, make me thankful, though, it ain't easy, give it away freely, it'll come back to you eventually, rock me daddy, I'm still you kid, the ways that you roll so very different, you in the bulk of an American moment. Like me, daddy, happiness ain't free. I see where you're at. I know you can see me. You in the bulk of American moment. Like me, daddy, I'm still your kid. Uh, the ways that you roll so very different. You in the bulk of an American moment. Like me, daddy, happiness ain't free. I see where you're at. I know you can see me. You in the bulk of an American moment. live streaming that's right <clears throat> um do you have enough guitar to to finish this that do you want to use one of ours or oh was, my was God, the fourth I song so going to be on that here. Yeah, all right um so much guitar we can we talk a little more about the the production of terms of surrender so you said i mean i know you worked in <coughs> excuse me you worked in three different studios you worked upstate um at at aaron desner's place you were at sound city in la and then roger mutino's place um out in nashville yeah was that um uh, when you listen back to the record, can you tell that each one of those songs, each one of those locations, was was influenced by the vibe of the place? I mean, can you tell oh, this yeah. is a Nashville song? This one, this one feels yeah. more like palm trees and sand and, <laughs> and L.A. And this one. Um, oh yeah, no question. Yeah, it's more that all of the songs were worked on at all of the studios. So I, you know, I can hear the layers of what we did. Um, uh, but yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I know exactly what was done. I know, I know every note on all that whole record. And did it? I mean, the reasons why you went to those locations in the first place to record was that because of the players that were available in those places, or was it because those, no, those it was, different it was studios more would fit that, the vibe um, better? No, it was more that that uh, the previous two records, Hallelujah, Anyhow, and Heart Like a Levy, had been made in Durham um, at a studio that that I really like working at in Durham, but. Um, I just, I wanted a change. And so 
I thought that it would be fun to make the record in a in a whole bunch of places. Like I had a list of a whole bunch of cities. You know, I wanted to go to New Orleans to work, and um, I, logistically, though, it it was it pro it was proving to be it was going to be prohibitive for a bunch of reasons. So, um, but those three, L.A., Nashville, and kind of, you know, up around Hudson, New York. They were kind of like, um, they felt like kind of like spiritual centers of what I wanted to touch on, I would say, you know. Um, and they're incredible studios with just tons of vibe, you know. We wanted to work some places that, were, that had vibe and character as well. And, um, and those three places in very different ways <clears throat> all have that for sure. Yeah. Nice. So great, man. Well, yeah. I'm glad that you got the chance to to do that. I'm enjoying it very much. It's one of my wife and I's favorite records out there in Thank the world you. right now. In terms of surrender, Thank is you. Uh, um, we've just heard three from it. Thank you. We're about to hear a fourth. Also, awesome. yeah, we've got a bonus song coming. Yeah, up. I'm trying to think of what I should play now. I might not play something off Terms of Surrender because I just broke that string. Um, so, how about if I play something from Hallelujah? Anyhow, yes, that, please. Is that okay with you, yes, sir? <laughs> Um, I'm going to play this tune called Lost Out in the Darkness that has seems to have unexpectedly become a, a favorite when we play live. Maybe because it's got like a four on the floor groove to it <laughs> in, this, uh, yeah, in this age of electronic music that means something. Four on the floor is good. Yes, if you love me, please tell me I gotta be that one between us If you need me, don't sell me If I see the black dog, it's gonna kill me And in the morning, where do I Blues, blues, throwing ashes on the water it's a strange, sweet kind of life To be lost out of the darkness of the border Yes, I've been waiting for your vision I'm trying to be hopeful for you, but Yeah, say that hangman Wait for me Well, give my number to another And in the morning, where do I Blue, blue, throwing ashes on the water It's the same tweet kind of like To be lost down in the dark Yes, if you carry the good news, show me I've been looking for a sign down among us Yeah, the boy calls for gasoline I knew my days in the kingdom of numbers That in the morning, where do I rise? Blue, blue, throwing ashes on the water it's a strange, sweet kind of life To be lost down in the darkness of the border 
again, thank you for coming here and doing this. We appreciate all of the music today. Uh, three of the songs were from Terms of Surrender, and that is out in the world on Merge Records right now. And yep. uh, there are a ton of shows coming up. The next one that I know about is November 30th at the Jefferson Theater in Charlottesville. That's right. Um, yep. And then there are a number of European shows in December, and then back in the U.S. with Lily Hyatt. Um, tell her that everyone from Pace said hello. She was in this room not too long ago. Oh, yeah, we'll um, tell her. Yeah, we love Lily. She's amazing. January shows with her, and then uh, Australia and New Zealand in late yep. January. So That's travel right. safe, please, between all those dates, and enjoy all of them, man. It sounds sounds like a ton of fun. They're all up at hisgoldenmessenger.com, of course. And, um, dude, come back anytime it makes sense for you, man. We'll be here Will doing do. this, and uh, thanks for the music. Thank you so much.